If I were never introduced to ANSYS and simulation software, I really don't think I would be as competitive in the job market um, as I found myself to be. Well, I started off as an undergrad at Lehigh University. I majored in mechanical and aerospace engineering. And after that, I ended up at Cornell um, doing a one-year master's program. I majored in mechanical engineering with a focus in solid mechanics. There were a few different factors that got me into engineering, specifically mechanical engineering, because I wanted to kind of figure out how, how things worked. I was, I was really interested in, in seeing how these machines and, and you know, fighter jets and tanks and what was driving them, how they ran. The reason I got involved in simulation was because um, last semester of senior year, I was applying for jobs and I saw that a lot of jobs had the, uh, the requirement of candidates should know or be familiar with ANSYS or similar fine element software. And I thought, huh, the reason why I'm going to college is to learn skills that will be applicable towards these kind of mechanical engineering jobs, and this seems to be a really applicable skill. It wasn't until really the end of the course that I did my uh, course project and ultimately had to end up teaching myself uh, simulation. That's when I first got introduced to ANSYS in any meaningful way. Cornell MOOC was a really organized way of learning simulation. I wish I had known about it back when I was an undergrad, uh, just teaching myself fine elements software. I think it's a very good uh, stepping stone upon which you can you know, form a basis for simulation and eventually be, become more complex. The ANSYS academic program really provides students with a lot of different touch points uh, for that software throughout their academic career. Surprisingly, not every student comes out of undergrad or graduate school with knowledge of fine element software or just simulation software in general. I think it would be great if the ANSYS academic program would be available to more and more engineers as it becomes more uh, pervasive in the industry. Really pretty obvious to me that you need some sort of fine element experience to be competitive in today's mechanical engineering job market. I really almost wish it was mandatory to learn fine element and, and learn these kind of simulations, um, even starting earlier than senior year as an elective. I think that simulation is becoming so critical to the mechanical engineering field that it's really become a tool in your toolbox that you cannot afford not to have. I'm you know, really happy with where I am in terms of uh, you know, kind of being exposed and, and being able to have the opportunity to learn about simulation. And of course, I wouldn't have been able to do that without all my professors at Cornell and at Lehigh who introduced me and taught me about the subject. So I really think that my simulation experience paid off. I was recently hired by a large uh, naval defense contractor, and I'm excited to be able to use that simulation experience in my job. I'll probably be working with ANSYS for quite a while.